10 CD, 20 CD, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. <laughs> okay, this now 45 Ghana, mm -hmm. 45 CD, 45 CD. Mm -hmm. So, I was in a small one. It is a 45 CD. Morning, morning is a defense. Well, viewers, this is how I want to welcome you to this special class. Inside this class, we'll be talking about personal finance. Yes, personal finance is very, very important. Most times, we neglect our finance. And when we are hit with the rock, then we are not able to get help. Well, I told you in the previous video that I am doing some studies on personal finance, about financial management, how I'll do my investment, how I'll be able to budget. So I'm learning all of those things. So all what I'm learning, I want to put them into practice. And I'm also using an opportunity like this to share with you what i have been learning and i am not a financial expert not at all but i am learning and and i hope to put them into practice so in this video i'll be talking about personal finance now we all know that money is a vehicle money is a defense so our financial aspect we must pay attention to it because it is one thing that affects our personality, that affects personal relationship with other people, our personal relationship with other people. So let's look at it from the biblical point of view. Finance, money, financial management, investment. So let us start. Six important things about financial management. Why is it beneficial? Why is it good that we are knowledgeable about our finance management? Now, from the Bible, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. Let me just read quickly. It says, invest in many ventures. Ship your grains across the sea after many days you will receive a return invest in seven ventures yes in eight you do not know what disaster may come upon the land if clouds are full of water they pour rains on the earth whether tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Listen to this. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the cloud will not reap. Hmm. So the Bible talks about investment. So this verse or this chapter talks about investing in many ventures. So one important benefit of personal financial management is drawing our attention, especially as Christians. Sometimes we neglect our financial area. We are just taking it all. Oh, the Lord will provide. Whatever we have, we take it all. Oh, the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. Lord will provide. Yes. The Lord will provide, but we ourselves must be conscious. We must be aware of our finance, how we manage our finance. So scripture says, it says, ship your grains, put your investments in things, put your money into investment, things that will bring something in return. So the Bible talks about returns. So when you invest, you expect returns. You expect to get something. So, as I was saying the last time, we have people who are wealthy through generational wealth that they inherit. You have people who are in the middle class when they have, they save, and then they invest. 
So our personal finance, number one benefit of uh, personal finance is that you are able to invest if you want to invest. As scripture says, it says invest in seven ventures. Put your money into something or somewhere that will bring you returns. Yes, we pray for the blessings to come, but we must learn to invest. He said, in seven, yes, he said, even in eight, maybe you have done one, another one will come. You do not know when there will be crisis. Like, for example, when we are faced with this um, pandemic, most people do not have any investment, any returns, all they depend upon, maybe just their mere salary. There is no reserve, there is no investment. And so, it begins to tell on them. So, personal investment is very, very important. Financial management helps us also. Number two, you don't have to like look at the cloud, look at what is happening. So, scripture says, if you look at the cloud, you will not be able to sow. Yes. You look at it. So also ever watches at the winds, you will not be able to sow. So as Christians, even if you are not a Christian, you are watching this video, if you are investing, definitely you have returns. So investment goes always with returns. Whether be it small, whether be it little, in our own personal lives. It helps you to plan and manage your finance. So, in personal financial management, it helps you to plan. Yes, to draw your own budgets. You might not be an expert. In fact, me, I'm not an expert on financial management. But I am learning. And what I am learning, I'm trying to put them into practice. So, you are able to plan and invest. You can invest maybe in housing. You can invest in insurance. You can invest in various areas. It helps you to save. When you are conscious about your financial investment, it helps you to save. Because there are certain things you will not be able to get it. You will not be able to achieve it. Except you save. I believe in savings. Even, even if it is those local savings that we call in our language, Osusu. Susu. Ghana, they call it Susu. Osusu in Creole. So, you can be able to save and achieve something. Financial management also helps you to be able to stay away from unnecessary debts. Because you are always planning. It helps you to stay away from unnecessary debt. There are debts that are unnecessary. They are just unnecessary. You don't need them. I'll do that in another video. About our needs. Another important of financial uh, management, personal financial management, it helps you to raise some funds. Maybe you take small from your office, you get small from another place, you raise it and be able to invest in something that will bring great returns. As scripture says, you can invest in one, invest in two, invest in three, three, four, five, six, seven, and also invest in eight. So as much as you can, as the opportunity is coming your way. It also helps you to make sound decisions because you will not just spend your money anyhow. Some people, especially when it comes to festive season, it comes to season that like they are supposed to, to waste money. That's the time you see some people managing their money. No wonder some people are also complaining that the January month is difficult because some people don't even plan. As how the money is coming, so they spend it, so they become broke. I like spending, you know, oh, it is good to spend. It is good. But, spend wisely. So, financial management 
helps you to make the correct decision. It helps you also to be able to allocate your fund, your, your resources according to how you are getting it. What do I mean by that? You are able to put certain things in place that, okay, I allocate this money for fuel, I allocate this money for water bill, I allocate this money for my dress, I allocate this money for different aspects of your life. Because for you to get the money, it's not just something, it's not a one-way thing. To spend it also, it can go in various areas. Money can come from one source. But sometimes when we are spending it, it goes in various areas that you might not budget for. So financial management helps you to make the correct decision. It helps you to be able to allocate money for the appropriate thing that you need. Another thing again that financial management does, it helps you for you to be able to have profitability, profit, mm -hmm. returns. Yes, because returns can be from various areas where you have invested. So Bible says, cast your grain across the sea. Some scripture says, cast your bread upon many waters and you will receive it. So as Christian, it's not just enough for us to pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes, God, I believe you. I believe you provide my need. I believe you do this for me. I believe you. I be yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. I believe also. But it is not enough. How do you manage your finance? It's very, very important. It affects your personal well-being. Financial management overall is very, very important. Yes. Even in business, in corporate activities, whatever they are doing, you have people who are knowledgeable. So, for example, maybe you are setting up a business, a big farm, or you are, maybe you are just starting. You need some financial knowledge to be able, you don't need to be an expert. In fact, some of us are afraid of figures. But no matter what, if you are dealing with uh, money, if you are dealing with finance, you must be able to watch how you plan and how you allocate resources to whatever that you might need. If you have any um, topic relating to financial management from a legal perspective, Write it down in the comment section. I'll be glad to hear from you so that I can make more videos and also learn more about financial management. I'm still learning and I hope to learn deeper things about financial management because it has to affect not just only you but also the family. All right, till we meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to say bye-bye. Ta-ta.